According to a new class action lawsuit, some of the children that the current administration has been separating from their parents at the border are now being used as bait in an attempt to attract more people to deport. Just when you thought things from this administration could not get any more disgusting. Joining me now to talk about this lawsuit and exactly what is happening is Scott Hardy from topclassactions.com. So Scott, let's dive right into this. Explain how this, you know, this lawsuit claims this is happening, kids being used as bait. Explain exactly what that means. Well, this lawsuit is, it's really sickening and disheartening. You know, we, we do have a huge crackdown on illegal immigration and we want to make sure that these kids, as you said, have been separated from their families and from their parents. And we'd like to get them out of the system, right? And with loving families that can take care of them. So we, the taxpayers, aren't paying for their welfare as well. It seems like a win-win situation. Get the kids so the taxpayers aren't paying their food and board and their security because of course they are in essentially kid jail and then get them with their families. But no, what they actually did, there is a, at least one example we have so far where they were corresponding with the family saying, yes, come pick up your child, come pick up your child. A teenager went there to pick up the child who's a relative of the family member. And they said, no, 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 we wanna have your dad come in and get fingerprinted. Well, the dad came in, got fingerprinted, turned out he was an illegal immigrant from Honduras and boom, he's arrested, deported, and now you have more kids without family here in the States. And the Trump administration kind of said, well, all right, uh, we're sorry. We do really wanna get these kids reunited with family members. So we'll stop fingerprinting parents or anybody, family members that come in to claim these children. Uh, really, we really won't deport you, we promise, and I'm sure their fingers aren't crossed. But there's obviously a huge fear from the community saying, we wanna get these kids out, but we don't wanna get deported, or family members don't wanna don't want get deported, simply for trying to take these kids off of the taxpayer dole. Because at that point, not only does the parent or, or, or guardian or other family member who was in the United States that the kid was traveling to see or to, to go live with, uh, not only is that person now deported, but it leaves the child with nowhere to go at that point. So the child stays in custody. The relative is deported. No problems get solved. And in fact, we've actually now created not just another humanitarian crisis, but another just general crisis of what do we do with these children because we just got rid right. of their only possible guardian. I mean, this, look, with regards to immigration and these child prisons and whatever else is happening down here, we, we have seen probably the worst of the worst from this administration on this particular issue. But to me, trying to, to lure in more people to deport by dangling the child mm -hmm. and saying, look, we've got your kid. Don't you wanna come get your kid? Come on, come on, kids right here, just take right. them. Th th this is a new level of sickening that just crosses the line into just pure evil for me at this point. It, it, it really is. And we have to think who profits from this, right? Because this isn't happening on accident. This isn't just for Trump's hardline stance on immigration. The private prison industry is profiting from it because the more kids they release, the less they're able to charge the federal government. So you have to think, are the, you know, are the, the leaders and the owners of the private pr prison industry actually benefiting from deporting more people and keeping these kids in longer? Because if all of a sudden all these kids get connected back with their parents, you know, you're gonna have millions upon millions of dollars in profit that will be lost for those folks who own those private prisons. And not to mention the fact that the uh, private prison industry also profits more when they find somebody that needs to be deported. Because when they, you know, snatch that parent, they're not just immediately put on a bus and sent back down south. They, they languish in, in, in custody, you know, for days, sometimes weeks, maybe even months, depending on how backed up the system is. So they're not immediately deported. They get to go fill another cell in one of these private prisons who are profitably, uh, uh, profiting huge off of this uh, manufactured crisis that we have in fact created on our own soil at this point. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the private prison industry, they're loving this. 
You know, they, they, they love people locked up. They love people being deported. What they don't like, as you pointed out, is anybody leaving those prisons. Cause as soon as somebody walks out that door, all they see is a giant dollar sign walking away from them. Exactly. And you know, uh, with a lot of things that we're, we're looking at in the world today, we always have to look as you do at the basis of why these things are happening. And it's not just the, you know, the, the created crisis on the border, but it's who's going to make money and why, and who can they inflame to support the president and his administration in this act so that person can keep on making money in the background and giggling maniacally, I'm sure, as they're sitting there and profiting off the backs of these small kids. Absolutely. For more information on this issue, follow the link in the description of this video, head on over to topclassactions.com and make sure you sign up for their newsletter to stay on top of all of the issues that American consumers need to be aware of. Scott Hardy, topclassactions.com. Thank you very much for talking with us today. Thanks for your time, Farron.